Hello and Merry Christmas. I'm Mrs. Cole and I hope that you have the most wonderful and joyful Christmas ever. Christmas is such a special day, isn't it? A day of celebrating and going to Christmas Mass and hearing all the wonderful Christmas music and seeing relatives and friends and eating wonderful food and seeing what's in your stocking and then opening Christmas presents. It's all so exciting and fun, isn't it? And of course, the reason that we give gifts is to remind us of God's gift of Jesus, which is the most special gift of all. Now, our story today begins with Joseph and Mary going to Bethlehem because the government wanted to count the number of people in all the cities and towns. So everyone had to go to the city where he had been born. The cities were jam-packed with visitors and there was no place left for Mary and Joseph to stay. So they ended up staying someplace very unusual, in a stable, which is where animals are kept, sort of like a barn, which is no place for a baby to be born, is it? Now afterwards, Mary laid baby Jesus on a bed of hay in the manger, which was really a feeding trough for the animals in the stable. So think of this, Jesus, the king of the world, came to us as a tiny baby, born to two humble and ordinary parents in a stable for animals with their parents who couldn't find any other place to stay and didn't even have a crib for their new baby. Now, imagine that you're one of the shepherds in the hills of Bethlehem that night. You're spending the night with some other shepherds as you always do. Your sheep have been herded into a fence where they'll be safe for the night and you look up and the skies are clear and full of stars. It's a beautiful night. It's maybe a little bit chilly, but you're all snug in your shepherd's clothes. You're probably lying near a campfire. You've kicked off your boots and you're warm and toasty by the fire. You can hear the sheep softly bleeding as you and the other shepherds drift off to sleep. So it's just another ordinary Bethlehem night. And then, ah, oh, at once, suddenly, an angel appears. The skies light up and there's a flash and you wonder what on earth is happening. But the angel says, don't worry, I bring good news. Today, in Bethlehem, your Savior is born. And then suddenly you see all the angels of heaven saying glory to God in heaven and peace on earth, goodwill to everyone. And then after all the angels leave, maybe one of the shepherds says, I know where this manger must be. Let's all go and visit the newborn baby. So these humble shepherds of Bethlehem who had very little money and weren't considered very important people were the very first people in the whole world after Mary and Joseph to know that Jesus, our savior was born. So if you'd like, close your eyes and try to imagine everything that happens as you listen to the Christmas story. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was the governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now, there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night, night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is the Messiah and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor, favor rests. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. This is the good news of the Lord. This Christmas story was given to us in love, the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's so wonderful that we love hearing it every year. So let's close with a prayer on this wonderful day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to us. You are our Savior. Guide us in sharing this good news as the shepherds did. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So I hope that your Christmas is, is filled with love, and goodness, and fun, and that you have a very Merry Christmas. Always remember, Jesus loves you.